Shalom, all of my sisters and my bro stars out there of the Star Seed United. Allies and friends, I send you infinite love and light, and I receive yours, Abracadabra. The enemy bombards us with thoughts, but also we have our ancestors, our angels, the most high, the Ruach Kakadosh, all of them are giving us um, messages also, so they're not always coming from the enemies of our soul. Oklahoma's Supreme Court dismisses lawsuit of last Tulsa race massacre survivors seeking reparation. Now you see, this stirs up a righteous indignation within me and what my definition is of a righteous indignation is the energy of anger and hatred. Yeah. So that's what I feel about Oklahoma Supreme Court dismissing this lawsuit. The last few survivors, and they denied them reparation. Okay, you guys, so I'm, I'm going to start this whole thing out with a dream that I had a couple nights ago. I think I might have mentioned it on a couple videos ago. I don't, I can't even remember, y'all. I've been, I've been working so hard. But anyway, I got so much information in my brain. So I might have mentioned it, but I'm going to go over it again. Because it was a sign that the 144,000 are about to receive. Their superpowers. Yeah, so anyway. The dream, I was, at, I was at the White House. And I was at a press conference. And one of our formidable enemies was at the podium. I'm not even going to say who it was. I just want them to guess you spies out there. Yeah, he was at the podium. And we have dealt with him in the court of the Most High before. Okay. So he was up there, he was talking all kind of shit about the quote unquote black Hebrew Israelites. Yeah, and he was like, his target was, I'll say his target market for that hatred was white racist. So I can't remember the whole speech, but I can remember putting two and two together that of what he was up there doing is he was trying to stir their hatred against us yeah he was trying to stir it up and make it proliferate with his speech and as he was speaking and he kept on talking that shit about the black hebrew israelites a righteous indignation came over me now let me tell you my definition because y'all know they be just Doing all kind of hocus pocus in the dictionaries. All kind of hocus pocus. So in my book, and when I speak of righteous indignation, what I mean is that there is energies involved. That is hatred and anger that's all mixed up together because of one's righteousness. Yeah, when somebody does something to spark them and to make them angry and hate them because they are righteous, yeah, that that causes that indignation and the indignation is the reaction. So that's what I mean when I, that's my explanation of what I mean, okay? So I felt that energy, that righteous indignation, that hatred. And that anger mixed together because I'm righteous and somebody's trying to come against my people. And, and there was a, a indignation because I took that energy of hatred 
and anger and sent it to my eyes and some electrical beams came from my eyes. I focused in on his ass and I zapped him and he disappeared and I woke up. Yeah, so I knew that that was a sign that the 144,000 are about to receive their superpowers. Yep, they only have a few days left to change their minds, but they won't. At least the majority. I don't know. Some of them might because I heard they had a foot of rain in Florida. So I told y'all the Most High is going to make them. The host of the Most High is riding. That would be Poseidon dumping all that water on their asses. And then they got, they talking about a cyclone coming in. That's like a big ass tornado forming up there. That would be Pegasus. And they are riding. Yes. And so some people might be scared right now. And they might have came across something about them fake ass Jewish people. Calling themselves all them nicknames. Jewish, Israeli, Zionist. All them nicknames. Those imposters. And they see how wicked and evil they are. And they seeing something about the quote unquote black Hebrew Israelites. As though there are white Hebrew Israelites. Ain't no such thing as white Hebrew Israelites. Yeah, and it's not a movement. It's not an organization. It's DNA. It's the bloodline, baby. And we about to receive our superpowers. And I wish we had it during the time of the Tulsa Massacre. I wish we would have wiped out all of their asses. Yeah, they gonna be begging then, though, see, when you receive your superpowers. The same ones. The same ones that would deny this woman reparation for taking everything away from her in a genocide. That was a genocide. See, that the see what's happening over there in Palestine happened to us over and over and over and fucking over again. Hundred man made lakes with our neighborhoods, our schools and churches and mom and pop stores and gas stations and grocery markets and uh, baseball fields all underwaters and their kids is riding in their little boats in their neighborhoods where they don't even want us yeah over and over and over again and those same people gonna be begging oh no please please it's gonna be too late you will be recognized. It's going to come a time where it's going to be too late to repent. You just go get zapped. They think they little peace shooters. They have been bullying people with those weapons. They've been bullying people with law enforcement and military. Because they got those weapons. They got the weapons. But honey... The superpowers that is about to be given to the 144,000, they ain't going to have a ch- They're not even going to be harmed in any kind of way, the 144,000. They just going to be going around taking revenge and taking people out because of their righteous indignation. Because, see, people are going to be recognized. It's not It's not going to be any um, uh, casualty. What, what, what do they call it? When, when civilians, when you kill civilians, uh, collateral damage. It's not going to be any collateral damage. Everybody that gets zapped is going to be because they deserve it. Because they are going to be marked. Yeah. 144,000 are going to know who the diabolical ones are. Like the ones. I just seen a news article. See, that's what I'm talking about. This righteous indignation is rising up in me. There was two boys. I can't remember what state. Two little young 
teenage boys, these two old ass fuckers, racist white men, kidnapped them and they beat them and they killed them. And they only gave them 15 years to life. You know, that kind of bullshit like that. When I see stuff like that, it's righteous indignation, that hatred. Now I know. I I do hate they asses. They had us so tricked with that. They had us so tricked, y'all. When the Most High God of Israel says even in their Bible that he hates certain things and certain people. He say he do, and they they try to make it seem like you you got to be better than the Most High God of Israel and never hate, because hate will send you to hell. Hate is illegal. Hate is wrong. When they're doing the most hateful ass shit that you can even imagine, they never want anybody to hate them back. Well, I do, because my mother let me know that uh, everybody has hate. Whether you admit it or not, if you say you never hated anybody, you just a liar and the truth is not in you. If, if you have lived on this planet for any amount of time and say you don't hate anyone, you never hated anyone, you're lying. Because hate is just, it, 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 what it is, is a passionate dislike for something. That's what it is. And sometimes that passion with that dislike is stronger. It's just like different levels of hatred. Yeah, And these white races that are definitely serpent seed. You know, anybody that has a hatred like they do against the Hebrew Israelites are serpent seed. That's that spell the Most High put on all of us. And we are supposed to hate them back. He said he put enmity not just on them. Against us. But he put enmity on us against them. And Hashatan has used all of his magic. To suppress our hatred. Yeah he did all kind of trickery. With that one. While they have been freed to do every kind of diabolical, hateful deed against us. See, they have an unrighteous indignation against us. There's nothing righteous about their indignation. You ask them, have anybody black ever done anything to you? Ask those people, if we call them to court, to the holy courts of the Most High, They call their little courts here in the 3D Supreme. Yeah, we take it to the most holy courts, the courts of the most high, the highest court in the universe. And if we called every last one of those who participated in the Tulsa race massacre genocide to the stand in the courts of the most high, and we asked them personally, did anyone ever do anything to you? From the Hebrew Israelite nation. Any have any melanated person ever did anything to you to make you so angry that you would just go in and kill men, women, and children? I can guarantee you they would say no. The one that lied, the woman that lied and said one of our men raped her, she knew what was gonna happen. Just like Carol and Brian, the liars. And they went and killed and took a whole community down over one lie. They have no justification. They are guilty, guilty, guilty. What say you, Star Seed Judine? All you judges out there, I find them guilty. section they are guilty all you jurors out there put your guilties in the comment section we find them guilty in the court of the most high abracadabra yep look at her 
Look at her. She looks like she's in her 90s. or I think she's over 100, actually. And she's still fighting. And everybody in the world know that Black Wall Street was a genocide. They know it was wrong as hell. They know that they were guilty as fuck. They know it. Everybody knows it. Everybody knows it. I don't know about you, Star Seed United, but I'm sick of their wicked racist asses. I, You know, I really don't even, I, I really don't have a concern for them at all repenting or turning from their wicked ways. At all. Let, let them show their true colors so they can get hit in these judgments. That's how I feel about it. They all deserve it. They all deserve it. Yep. And we are going to get everything back. Everything. They don't want to pay us reparation. Oh, you guys, you know what I see. Now we went to the courts of the most high. <laughs> Maybe about a month ago. I can't remember which video. But we went after their money magic. After their money magic. See, they have used the energy of money to control the population and enslave the population of the planet. It is fake. It's monopoly money. It's magical. And the magical illusion of that dollar, we went after that money magic, that money energy that they used to rule the world. And look what's happening. 59 countries is joining BRICS. And uh, what was that? Uh, uh, the the, uh, the uh, petrodollar. They're not using the petrodollar anymore. It's about to crash very fast. I told y'all they're going to come off the top of that pyramid and they're going to crash all the way to the bottom. As we rise to the top just as quick. That's what's about to happen. Abracadabra. Can I get an Abracadabra star seat united and some seven seven sevens on that one? They will fall like lightning and we will rise like lightning. Abracadabra. The Most High has already given signs to all of them. All of them and those at the top, he started these judgments, giving them a warning that they were going to be judged. And I'm talking about the synagogue of Satan. Those that are at the top of the pyramid, they're about to come crashing down. Yep, this happened. And that's who lived there. Those that were rich enough to live there. This was a judgment. This was a signal from the Most High God of Israel. That the synagogue of Satan was going to be judged. Now, that is how I see it. We have watched this war in um, Israel. And how the synagogue of Satan is viciously and violently and heartlessly murdering even babies and we just had the last image of the baby that they beheaded with a missile yeah on fire body on fire we, we've seen the synagogue of satan do that we've seen people run so what the world is witnessing in gaza is the same people the synagogue of Satan that call themselves Jews and are not. The world is watching them in real time committing another genocide. That is an example of how they did genocides on us time and time again with impunity. So we have this elder here that lived through it. Can you imagine living through what she lived through? Seeing white people chasing her friends and family down with their guns and their dogs and just shooting them, killing them, hanging them, 
burning their houses down, killing their animals, taking everything that they have. We are running in horror and fear with no protection. We couldn't call the popo. The popo was in on it. We couldn't call our local government. They were in on it. We had no help at all. Just like the people in Gaza. Only there's people crying out for them now, other countries. We had nobody crying for us. Powerless. We were powerless against the serpent seed and fighting them back. On this 3D field, we were powerless. And we had serpent seeds all over this earth coming against us with their weapons and walking away with impunity after they've taken everything from us. Yeah, let me talk about serpent seed. Okay, I talk a lot about the synagogue of Satan because, see, those are the synagogue of Satan or the church of Satan. It's sitting at the top of the pinnacle. Those who call themselves Jews and are not, but do lie and are a synagogue of Satan. That's what the Most High God of Israel called them. Yeah, but serpent seed you know, they're not all calling themselves the synagogue of Satan. But they are white. Not all white people are corrupted with serpent seed, by the way. There are some people that are not co corrupted with that satanic bloodline that are white. Yeah. So I'm not saying all white people are serpent seed, but the majority of them are. The ones that, the, how you know that they are serpent seed is they just have this hatred for us for no reason at all. Yeah, besides what the news told them or their parents taught them or their churches, you know, put inside of their hearts, whatever. Some people are trained to be a racist and, and, and don't take on all people. It doesn't take on all people because all white people are not serpent seed. So you can have one person not affected, let's say in a, in a family of five children, and only one of them, only one of them, they don't have that factor. They don't have serpent seed inside of them. And, and they reject the idea of racism when they're, when they're old enough to decide for themselves yeah, and they don't have to hide the way that they feel anymore. Yeah, they'll let you know So because they're not serpent seed. Just like not all black people are Hebrew Israelites. Not all Hebrew Israelites are star seed. You see where I'm going? So I'm talking directly to the synagogue of Satan, those who say they are Jews and are not, and to the racist white people. You are in big trouble. And I'm so happy. You know, that's why I love Big Judah's uh, channel because he be spelling out the prophecies of what's going to happen to their asses. You know, just like when uh, when I was little, we used to get what you called a whooping. My, we weren't getting abused, though. We just got normal. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we didn't get all bruised up and shit. Do you remember one of your siblings doing something that was so mean and horrible to you? And and you told on them. And they were going to get away. You knew you were going to tell on them. And you know because of what they did that they were going to get a whooping. Yeah. Ooh, and you see your parents driving up. You'd be like, you going to get a whooping. Oh, and then you kind of enjoyed it. I did. If somebody did something mean to me, I had one sibling that just wouldn't stop from the time. Seemed like she came from the hospital. She was my arch enemy, always doing something evil and mean to me. She got her whoopings. You think I felt sorry for her ass? No. You think I'm evil because I was happy that she got a whooping? I don't care. That's how I felt. 
These people, go, they deserve everything that's coming at them. Serpent seed. Yeah. So now... We had no power to fight them. We we just didn't. We didn't have the weapons. We didn't have the power in the government to fight their asses. And then in the in the in and behind the scenes, they created these courts like the Supreme Court. Supreme Court, my ass, you gonna see how supreme you are in a minute. All you judges out there that judged wickedly. Yes, you are up for judgment, and I can't wait to see you get your whooping. Now, I mentioned those that were uncorrupted white people. Uncorrupted. I see that the systems are failing. Yes, the systems are failing. I told you a long time ago, you spies out there, that there's some of you that actually are inside and you see the injustices you see the game yeah and you don't like it it didn't it didn't suit you well because you got into that federal agency because you thought that you were going to help bring justice and now you see in the game yeah it's a lot of y'all I congratulate you, too, and stay on in there as long as you can. They don't know who you are. You're very good at hiding yourself, and you're protected. Because one day, you're going to spill the tea on their asses, and they don't know who you are. And it's so many. Yeah, so many people. See, what happened was the synagogue of Satan got tricked. And to believe in that people actually had true loyalty to them when, you know, they wanted the power of a job, a position, or they wanted money. Now the money's failing, so they're not going to be able to use that to control their puppets. Yeah, so even the ones that went along with it with indifference, you know, all of their evil, wicked plots and laws and shit. It's a lot of them on the inside that always despised you. And you thought you had their loyalty. And this is all in the White House. There is a divide. Yeah. And with the dollar crashing, it's really going to be divided. Yep, APAC and the ADL running our government. You know, you white people that would talk about you will not replace me, the replacement theory. It's true. Because, see, you guys got out of control and you're not doing what they want you to do. Yeah. Especially you Nazis, you know. And uh, they march right up in the U.S. government. Those 13 families march right in the U.S. government. And they got a meeting. Before a whole lot of people in Congress, I have a receipt. I think I'm going to play that receipt. I think I'm going to play a couple of receipts on this video. Now, Star Seed United, you probably seen this receipt because some of the receipts I have uh, are very, very vitally important. I, I uh, re screen recorded them because just in case they buried it. I wanted to have evidence of what these people, just because they're Jewish and just because they're on the top of the pinnacle, you know, they have more rights than anybody in the United States. Uh, uh, people are starting to call it the United States of Israel. Yep. Because just because they're Jewish, they get to march into our Congress and demand more spying on us. So I'm going to play this quick receipt, and then I'm going to play another one just to prove, you know, they got you tricked. And I don't care if you believe me or not. I don't care if you think I'm racist. I don't care if you don't repent. This is a historical document. Yep. And so I'm spilling the tea. 
Hey, Sophia, I- I'm really glad you're here. Uh, obviously, we have discussed all the stuff going on with Kanye West and all this garbage that we're seeing on Twitter now that they're not, you know, enforcing some of the guidelines that they had before. It- it's not looking good. Can we start with today's roundtable? Who will be there and what do they hope to accomplish? So, first gentleman, second gentleman, uh, Doug Emhoff, he... That would be Kamala Harris's husband. We'll have 13 Jewish groups. I call them 13 Jewish families. It's just obvious. As well as some White House officials, including domestic policy advisor Susan Rice and former Georgia mayor uh, Keisha Lance Bottoms. Traitors. That's what I would call them, traitors. Both of them are are uh, Hebrew Israelites. They're traitors. And, you know, the topic will be how can we combat anti-Semitism? Mind you, this is a roundtable meeting that Doug Imhoff, Kamala Harris's husband, called for with the 13 families. Yeah, and we have these two traitors here. Yeah, I despise traitors. I hate traitors, too. How can we combat anti-Semitism? And it's something they've discussed uh, previously in private. I was told last week. And that would be a Psalms 83 crafty council, a secret meeting. There was a meeting between White House officials and some Democratic members of Congress. There you go, the Democrats. But this is bipartisan. They don't just have the Democrats. They have the Republican, too. We're not fooled by that. And we, you know, I'm not really sure if there will be anything tangible policy-wise coming out of it, but what it will do is it will, you know, bring up, bring more awareness uh, to what's going on here. These very high-profile attacks on social media and they have... All they have been hurt with is words and they want to attack people and they want to spy on people for words been followed by equally offensive banners and posters in several states. So the postings they're talking about on social media was when Kyrie Irving posted Hebrews to Negroes. This happened right after that. This meeting was called the next month. And Kanye Kanye West started spilling the tea on You know, the synagogue of Satan that's ruling over the fashion industry, the music industry. Yep, that's what they're talking about. And banners and posters. Now, we have had genocide after genocide after genocide after genocide, mostly ran by the synagogue of Satan. It's genocide going on over there in Gaza, Sudan, Congo, Haiti. You know, they have been guilty of so many genocides. And of our people, 99.9% Semitic people, we're the ones that they attack. We're the ones that they order these genocides against. And just because they have some social media posts that they don't like and banners and posters, they get to march into the White House and demand to use your taxpayer dollars to spy on you. I kid you not. Is there any pressure on this group, considering it's just a bunch of, you know, government officials getting around the table to actually have something more substantive coming out of it that not only targets anti-Semitism, but all of the hate speech, which is becoming more commonplace? Yes, I mean, you're absolutely right. I spoke to a few of these Jewish groups that will be there today. And what they're asking for, and they've said they've been asking for for a long time, the difference is this week they're backed by 125 members of Congress from both chambers and both parties. Mm, That's evidence. That's evidence right there. That's an admission of who they have backing them, Republicans and Democrats. The difference is this week they're backed by 125 members of Congress from both chambers and both parties. Now, mind you, she's talking about the preparation for the speech that Doug Imhoff was about to have. He hadn't even had his speech yet. They hadn't even had the meeting yet. And they already had 125 Congress members, both Republican and Democratic. 
before the conversation even got going. Who are calling for a whole of government approach. And what that means is that. Now, here comes the juicy part, everybody. Now, I want you to keep in mind that this is the 13 Jewish families on the top of the pyramid who already have Congress backing before they even have a conversation that gets to go into the White House and ask for this. And what that means is that, you know, to combat this phenomenon here, they're... They want to combat the phenomena. Did you hear the wording that she used? Now, the reason why they called it a phenomena, because Kyrie Irving just posted Hebrews to Negroes, and it was a part of our great awakening worldwide, not only just our awakening, but people of other nations worldwide saw that information of who they are and who we are and they call it a phenomena they want to they want to combat it they want to fight back at our awakening and us calling ourselves the hebrew israelites the people of the book asking doj dhs the state department fbi asking DOJ, DHS, the State Department, FBI, asking DOJ, DHS, the State Department, FBI, all to sort of be really coordinated and data sharing, all to sort of be really coordinated and data sharing, all to sort of be really coordinated and data sharing. So the synagogue saying those Jewish people, they have a right to just march on into the White House. And ask for all four of those federal agencies for more spying and for data sharing. They want to know what the FBI, CIA, what is it, Homeland Security, Department of Justice, whatever she named off, all those federal law enforcement agencies. The words and banners and and social media posting of Hebrews to Negroes. They wanted all of that over words. None of them got hurt yet. Okay, but they get to march into before Congress and ask for these things. And and who else can go into the CIA and Homeland Security, the FBI, Department of Justice? Who else or the State Department, whatever she named off, who else in this world can walk in there and say that they want them to share their data with them? Who? Who? Nobody else. Only reason they can is because they run our government. And you white people out there, you are targeted too. Just letting you know I have a receipt on that too. I just want to show you how stupid you've been. They have kept you hating us for no reason at all. No just reason. No righteous reason. While they have done the what most by diabolical uh, cheating schemes that you can ever think of, and they will go against anybody that go against them. Sort of be really coordinated and data sharing, sharing best practices, and you know further uh, cooperation and collaboration. By her using the word further means that they already had access to these federal agencies. They had already been sharing data with them just because they're Jewish with your taxpayer dollars. They had already been doing it. They wanted more. Um, To address incidents and to track what's going on. So this is way worse than Watergate. This is worse than any kind of spying conspiracy that I ever heard of in my life. Over words. But they get to march into the White House over anti-Semitism. That's what this was all about. Now do you see what House Resolution 6090 is all about? That they are passing on to the Senate so that they can put it into law. And then they're going to draw up all kind of Laws to trap people, anybody that even says anything about them. We've even seen them go after freedom of speech, stuff that's in the Constitution. That's going to be destroyed too, by the way. Yeah, that magical document. But anyway, 
these people over words, they just get to go in there and vote everything all in, anything that they want. Car blanche, just because they're Jewish. They get to do that. When we have suffered genocide after genocide after genocide after genocide after genocide, and we didn't have nothing to do with the fucking Holocaust. Yet, we pay them. We give them money. They funnel all of our money out of the country because they have car blanche to walk into the White House anytime they want and say, send Netanyahu a hundred billion dollars. And then they have their little APAC babysitters that that Governor Massey was talking about to tell them which way to vote. And they have ironclad loyalty to them. You know, I was going to play that other receipt, but I changed my mind. I'm going to save that for another time. I think this is a big enough receipt right here. I have used this receipt on a couple of occasions, and it's nobody sees it. Nobody sees it. It went, came in the news, and it went out. Who pays attention to fucking Doug Imhoff? Who pays attention to him? Nobody. Kamala Harris's husband. Who is of the synagogue of Satan that went rallying all over the world for allies for that word anti-Semitism? The UN backed him. The European Union backed him. The United States government backed him on that word. And that's why when they marched their asses into Congress and passed House Resolution 6090, and they also condemned from the river to the sea, Palestine will be free, and made the truth out of a lie, and they voted on that and condemned it too. And when they did that, the courts of the Most High, all of the luster had left for the last two years, but when they did that shit, the Most High turned the courts of the Most High Back on, baby. And this time we're going to go a little bit different to the courts of the Most High on their asses. This is going to be in song. Now, I want to make this disclosure because I know it's spies out there listening in. Besides Brother CG sending me his songs and making a few comments on my videos, I have not collaborated with him at all with his song. This is his judgment on what's happened to us in the world. So Star Seeds United, you know what to do. Get ready because we've taken our energy, our purified energy to the courts of the Most High as Brother C.G. leads off. Abracadabra. Father won't spare the beast. Babylon falling down so disparately. 
All praises to the most high and love to Yahweh Shah and love to the holy Ruwa that quicken us back alive. I pray for the peace of Jacob, restoration and joyous times. I pray, Father, have mercy on the people who still blind. And I pray our enemies be found guilty of all their crimes. Inquisition and slavery, jump crow and down the line. This whole damn wicked world then took a piece of the pie up by the destructions, not destructions on them by the divine. Revelations to a nine shoulder, blasphemous lives of impostors who've been posturing as us for a long time. See, we all about our father, y'all pigs all about the dime. Y'all greedy, can't get enough, we content and doing fine. Set traps to set us back, now the trap is back. Pride, now your ass is looking sick, cause your rulership passes by. Zion, we sit in rich prophecy, got me inspired. Enemies is falling quick, by the father lifting us higher. Thank you, father, y'all, you always been there for me. It is real, you never left, cause you can't for You be bluffing us when we could barely breathe. We were blind, you gave us vision, now we clearly see. Thank you, Mama Rua, for breathing fresh air in me. And it's real, now we be moving around so merrily. It's been prophesied, Father won't spare the beast. Babylon falling down so despairingly. Father, we thank you again. Thank you. We can't thank you enough, Father, for giving us the opportunity to fight back in a phenomenal way. We had no power. We had no one to come and rescue us out of all of the genocides ordered by the synagogue of Satan and serpent seed worldwide. We had no power, but we have our power now, Father. And we realize our power. And we thank you for that. As we leave these holy places, Father, we ask you to honor every word in CG's song, Fresh Air. We're going to move around merrily, Father. As soon as the universe is ridded of all serpent seed, all of the children of Hashtag, and we're calling on their destruction, Father. We're tired. We're weary with them. And they don't even want to make us whole when they had the opportunity. Father, they had the opportunity to make some of our elders whole. In Tulsa, Oklahoma, that lived through that horrific genocide carried out by serpent seed, those races in Oklahoma. They lived through it, Father, and they refused to make those elders whole. And that judge dismissed the case. We ask that you dismiss him, Abracadabra, and everybody involved, just like Brother C.G. said. Everybody in involved in it. We call it for judgment, Father, Abracadabra. We know everything is in your time, but we also know, Father, that you hear us. And it's certain things we have to say. And we're calling for judgment, Father, on all of the enemies of your children. All of the Semitic people worldwide. Every last one of them. We're calling for judgment, Father. And we ask that you honor that. Abracadabra. Starseed United, you know what to do. You know what to do. Put your abracadabras and your 777s in the comments section. Yeah, we're going to be moving merrily in these magical worlds I'm showing you right here. Yeah, give your father praise and glory. Give your mother adoration because we could still be sleep. We could have been hoodwinked. The Bible says that Hashatan would fool the very elect if it were possible. Well, he had us fooled and hoodwinked while we were asleep, but we're woke now. And so is our DNA. And Father, we busted them out, and we ask that you bust them out, bust them down. Abracadabra. Okay, you guys, that is the download that I have for you today. I hope you glean some wisdom and some power. Yeah, and all of these receipts. I, I pray that these receipts that I just gave of how they could just walk in the the White House that it goes viral abracadabra people need to see that these people are diabolical and wicked 
Yeah, and very soon they're going to be ran out of this universe. They're going to be bagged up and taken out of the universe. Because they are evil. They're the children of Satan. And they are our enemies. Yes. If you resonate with this message and you're new to my station, feel free to subscribe. This is not for everyone. It takes a special resonation. Because the things that I talked about on this message is very unusual. I'm saying there's nothing wrong with hate. Yeah, everybody has hate. You know, stuff like that. You know, you have to resonate with this truth. You know, it might become your truth and it might not. That's not up to me. But if you do resonate with this message, feel free to subscribe and join in the fight. We fight here at Star Seed United. We're on a holy mission to do exactly what we're doing. Taking all of our cases to Zion, to the courts of the Most High, where we are being heard by the Father, led by the Mother, yeah, and backed up by our big brother Messiah, the King and God of this earth, and the heavenly host. You guys, isn't this world beautiful? This is one of them I told y'all. I showed y'all a lot of technology, but it's a lot of beauty over there in Eden. It's a lot of magic, and we're about to experience it all. Yeah, we didn't come from this dimension. We came here on assignment as pilgrims. And we are carrying out our mission. And this is going to be our reward. Not only are we going to get all of the lands back that they stole. But the magical lands are already appearing upon this earth. And very shortly, all of the magical lands. That's close to the surface, I imagine. Yeah, they're, they're going to be, you know... Appearing more and more, I found hundreds of heavens, and this is one beautiful one. Yeah, so yeah, we gonna be just like we gonna be, we gonna have so much fun, you guys. Y'all saw all those angels and creatures over here in this beautiful land. It's magical. We don't have any magic in this dimension, so we're we're about to experience magic. Doesn't look like our dimension because our dimension is not magical. And you can see here where it's cloaking. One side is desolation. And then the uncloaked side is all colorful. But you see the same shapes. So all of these lands, are, they are beautiful. They look like this. All of the surrounding lands. Look at all those angels, y'all. I'm telling you, they are in big fat trouble. Yeah, we're going to be taken into inner earth. And we're going to experience the magic. I want to thank you all of you for your support of this station you guys joined in the fight you know you were a part of this mission we don't even know each other but you resonated with this strange mission yeah and i want to congratulate you and i really want to give you gratitude for for hanging in there with me yeah we've come a long way in a very short time became very powerful magicians together all praises to the most high so I want to thank you for all of your encouraging words. You guys, you guys, I can't tell you. I have been waiting all of my life to receive this kind of love that you guys are giving me in the comment section. It's priceless to me. And it really boosts my energy. And also all of you who send me gifts of love. You know, I really appreciate every last one of you. Yes, and you, you, you're you going to be blessed automatically because I'm a Hebrew widow. We're close to the Most High God of Israel's heart. He holds us dear to him. He know what we go through. Yeah. And so, yeah, you guys are going to be blessed, all of you, a thousand foe. And I want to send out a special shout out to Sister Yvonne Kane. May the Most High bless her over and over and over again, just like she blesses me. Abracadabra. Very thoughtful of me. So I know, in, I, even though I'm not connected with you, besides on these videos, I know that you resonate with this message. And I know that you love me and I appreciate you. Yeah, may the Most High bless all of you a thousandfold for whatever your hearts desire. Abracadabra. And a special thanks to our bro star cg yeah i know bro star i apologize i'm doing all of this on a cheap phone and i know that the quality of your song is much better than what i could present so you guys go over to the soundcloud and go check out brother cg he has 
he has an album listed, you know. So you guys go check out his station. Yeah, very powerful word and music magician. Congratulations, Brother CG. Yes, I send you infinite love and light. And I receive yours. Happy Kadabra. Okay, you guys. My goodness and mercy. Follow us all of the days of our lives. Yeah, so that we can breathe that fresh air in that holy palace with our father Yahweh, our mother Mariala, and our big brother Messiah, the king and the god of this earth. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share all of this good news. Doesn't it feel good to fight back? Star Seed United forever. Star Seed for life. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you so much for your kind support of this station. Yes, all your gifts of love. May the Most High bless you 100-fold for whatever your heart's desire. Abracadabra. Okay, until the next Judgment News, your big sister, the Hebrew widow, the Hebrew rose, Jericho out. Shalom! Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on this earth.